We noticed while producing our recent films highlighting MPs' expenses claims how the BNP were trying to hijack the issue for their own gain. Clearly there's a lot of anger over all sorts of things, the bank bailout, expenses, Iraq, but voting in a bunch of fascists is definitely not the answer. Nevertheless, the BNP have been worryingly effective to this end, taking advantage of people's disillusionment with the mainstream parties. The European elections take place this Thursday and it's possible that the BNP could return up to four seats. The reason this is a possibility is because under the watchful eye of their leader Nick Griffin, they have carefully rebranded themselves so it looks like they're not racists, when really, they're racists. We contacted the BNP pretending to be sympathetic media students that wanted to make a film showing the positive side of the party, after the slating they've been getting in the press. They seemed a little suspicious but we rocked up with the camera anyway and spent the day filming them canvassing various areas around Essex. The BNP don't really seem to understand how camera equipment works and when they thought we weren't filming they would show their true colours. Meet Frank. Hiya! <laughs> so I'm like in Forest. Parts of it are alright but a lot of it you think you're in High Street, Bangladesh. Yeah, I mean... Haringey is pretty nasty, you can't really go out and Oh, like... the African township of Haringey. Whether we like it or whether we don't, I mean, there's a lot of black and Asian people, and I don't like it, but that's how it is. I've got the right to live here. Um, what I what I don't like is once they're here, we're having to kiss their backsides. Even if nothing's done within 50 years, then uh, there won't be any indigenous white people. More than that, there won't be any religion other than Islam here. And already, we are kissing their backsides. We're giving them their halal meat in schools. We're allowing yeah. them the dress as they like. Yeah. We're teaching the Quran. We have to celebrate Muslim festivals. We can't celebrate our own our own festivals because it's supposedly racist. What's, uh, what's the plan of action today? Well, the plan of action is just to go and visit a few different towns. Um, just make, let, make our presence known and let people know what it is we stand for and give some brochures out. This is Bob Bailey, the BNP's London organiser, canvassing a black girl and then admitting off camera that blacks aren't even allowed to join the party. I don't know if you vote, do you? You vote? Yes, Yeah, you do vote. I don't know if you've uh, seen any of our literature from the British National Party. Yeah, I thought you're not for black people. Well, where does it say that, though? I that you don't embrace coloured people. Well, look, well, it's not a question. You're, you're just saying something. Where does it say in our manifesto that we don't embrace black people? It doesn't. Um, it, well, I haven't actually read your manifesto, but I've heard a lot about the party. Yeah, but a lot of it comes from the Labour government, you know, and their propaganda, the people, it's a lot of it's propaganda. I mean, I wouldn't have approached you if I thought, you know, yeah. that you no shouldn't No one else has approached me, so yeah. I assumed it was true, because yeah. I walked past oh, here. I just approached you, didn't I? Well, it's not, you know, it's a party of individuals, it's not a party. You know, we don't all think the same. I mean, it's made up of people from all walks of life. Yeah, which it should be. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you take that? Yeah. Just have a look through it. It's up to you at the end of the day. Yeah. You're a voter. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't want to vote for us, don't vote for us. Simple as that. Yeah. But at least, at least I spoke to you. Yeah. All yeah. the best here. Yeah, thank Bye. you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. What's, the, what's the criteria for joining for being being a BNPGA? Well, we have got uh, criteria. Uh, it's not, you know, it's not because, you know, uh, in some people's, you know, words that were racist. But you have to be, you know, white European descent, you know, to be in the party. And you can't have solidarity of all types of people. It just makes it so much difficult, so much more difficult. Back in the car, Frank talks about Nick Griffin's links to Vlam's block in Belgium, which was found in contempt of the law on racism and xenophobia, and the Front National in France, whose leader, Jean-Marie Le Pen, is a convicted Holocaust denier. What's Nick's, what's, what's his plan of action once he gets in? Once they get into, um, into Europe, they won't do what UKIP did, which is basically just make a lot of noise and do nothing. Um, they will get involved with um, other nationalist parties from other countries mm. and they'll strengthen that force. Nationalist parties like um, Flams Bloc in uh, Belgium or um, uh, Le Front National in France. Mm. <laughs> Once we get MEPs we will be in every sense of the word mainstream and more than that we'll have funds. At our final stop in Basildon there was some support but also hostility especially from younger people. Are you not are you not supportive of the BNP? No, fuck no. Yeah, why not? Because they're a bunch of assholes, to be honest. Yeah. I don't want racist people trying to 
run our country and run people out of our country that have got a right to be here. Yeah. 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 And so basically, as far as I'm concerned, they're scum and they don't belong here. Are you going to vote BNP? Probably, yeah. Yeah. What did you say about what it stood for? Bloody never packaged. <laughs> Bloody never packaged. <laughs> right. 375 million people are entitled to vote in the European elections. It's possible that fewer than 150 million will do so. It's your responsibility to vote on Thursday to keep the BNP out.